We are in this together. You have gifts that I don't have, and I have gifts that you don't have. That we must see. Now is the time. Because it's when we all get together that we will make the changes that we must make. We are the world. Welcome to Malcolm and we, and it's we the world. And we are a streaming service that brings you all the good people around the world. As uh, and, 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 and Yana, you introduce our guest and what tell what she does. All righty. Well, today we have Maureen Edwardson, the originator of Inner Resonance Technologies, also known as IRT. She has been studying, evolving, and sharing the IRT protocol. Fully explained in her book, Your Magical Evolutionary Code Unleashed, The Science of Inner Resonance. For 30 years, she has shared these teachings at the U.S. Bureau of Indian Affairs, national conferences, and U.S. tribal school trainings with shamans of the Republic of Altai. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Medical and physics professors from the research institutes, and I'm not even going to try and say that word, Moscow, Russia, and in Scandinavia. You can find out more about her at her very beautiful website, https colon slash slash maureenedwardson.com. Welcome, Maureen. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you so much for your invitation. I, I feel really blessed and honored, so thank you. I'm looking forward to this very much. Well, you have a lot to teach and say, and I had a little uh, session with you, and um, it must have worked because Rick is back with us. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Rick Alpic, who is the leader of We the World, uh, suffered a some health issues last year and uh, Maureen and I did a treatment together that even if it's not done directly on a person, it can work through another person. And so we did it together and I'll have her explain about it. For me, it was a matter of just being present, but for her, it was a lot more, I know. Uh, Maureen, you know, in, in your own words, what do you do? <laughs> you want the short version? Okay. Um, <laughs> I've developed a protocol, which is um, a, a formula of questions that are designed, predisposed for yes, so that what that formula does is activate and catalyze the part of you that knows everything. And it's very simple because we know that the level of complexity that's built into any system affords a corresponding um, simplicity and ease of access. So what's more complex than our brain, our bodies, our beingness, we're incredibly complex. And so the access of IRT, inner resonance technologies, is, is extraordinarily simple and can be underwhelming However, it, it activates that part of you that does know everything, your quantum self, where everything's happening simultaneously, and then allows your quantum self to neutralize any unresolved um, static in your field, because we are the receivers of the signals, we're the radios, we're the, the computers that receive the signals from the field. And as Einstein said, the sole governing agency of the particle is the field. So consciousness runs the body, mind over matter, mind with matter, mind matters. Mm -hmm. And so from that point of view, um, I've taken a lot of different um, experience from my past and been able to um, distill it down into a simplicity of, of access. So, it, and, and it really does work. People have healed broken bones in 10 minutes doing this protocol. Uh, I don't do anything to people or for them. I have the understandings uh, because I've studied uh, quantum unified field uh, physics with Nassim Haramein of the Resonant Science Foundation and a lot with Bruce Lipton. So uh, he endorses my work because it's a practical application 
of um, of his science. So it's really um, it's really I, I love doing this work. It's it's pure joy, and it's effortless. And that's a different paradigm, isn't it? We're so we're so we're so, we're so used to making it all happen and trying to work with the five percent. And guess what? Of the five percent of our conscious our conscious awareness, 99.9% is looping up from the old program. So we have 0.1% access to original thought beyond mm -hmm. program, right? But, uh, y y years ago, I have gotten involved with, uh, and I'm forgetting the name of the courses, but it was basically to trust your intuition. That, 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 that if, as people, I, I think we're taught to self-doubt, there, there's, there's an inner voice that we have, that tell us either we can't do it or it's impossible to do or it's not practical or it's, you know, we, we, we have to uh, look at all the uh, the angles. But there was a thing that uh, uh, there were courses given in, in, I think, University of Texas about trust your intuition about how to be quiet and get the feeling. And, uh, and uh, you know, and, and that they say nine times out of 10, your intuition tells you the best thing for you. Absolutely. And it's that old uh, spiritual adage, be still and know I am. And in presence, all the spiritual teachers tell us presence is where everything finds us, where we have access to yeah. everything. Well, for a while, I got into uh, Buddhism, which I still do. And it's, you know, the old thing, still waters run deep. Oh. And, and, and basically, the, the best way to do things is to be still, is to be calm. That's why I got into the uh, transcendental meditation back in the uh, 70s with the Swami Satchitananda. That's why, yeah. excuse me, it's Maharishi Mahesh Yoga. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, we're well met then. And we yeah. have an uh, understanding of how things actually work when you don't work at them, where you're... Right. And that's what IRT is all about. It's about presence and, you know, trusting your intuition. Um, and what the formula allows is for your quantum higher self, your spiritual self, to, to clear all the resistance to being present and clear all what I call the static, all the noise, so that we can listen, we can hear, we have a different level of connectivity and clarity to um, to know, um, yeah. So it's very simple, but it's effortless. And we are like um, supercomputers, truly. We really um, have an incredible system that we're breathing ourselves into. I like to think that we're breathing our consciousness into the body. And that's um, what is um, taught in a lot of places also these days. And I believe that's the truth. And our com communication device, our body is actually a walking miracle. And I love the one scientific fact, uh, the nub, well, I've got many, much science from Dr. William Brown of the Resonant Science Academy. Um, and William is a biophysicist. And he's in his world, in William's world, we have 100 trillion cells. Bruce Lipton says 50, some people say 37. I don't know who counts these things, but we've got trillions. <laughs> trillions is enough, right? One trillion would work for me, right? So 100 trillion cells. Each neuron in that trillion cellular system has 100,000 potential connections. Okay, got that. Each one of those 100,000 potential connections has 85 billion wormholes into other um, dimensional realities. So are we, you know, cooking? Oh, we're rock and rolling. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we have access to so much more. And that's what I love when you clear all the static and what's not the truth of you, what's not no longer relevant, no longer, you know, anything to teach you or have you experience it. And it's just mucking up the works. You know, some people have um, uh, thought of this over the years as a, as a spiritual bypass. It is, it actually is the opposite of that. It's a fast track. And that's what I, that's what Bruce Lipton said, you know, IRT is like the New York subway system, interurban yeah. rapid transit. We need faster ways. Well, this is instant for what's ready. That's the key. And what may not be ready gets a chance to work itself out without all the extra muck and 
you know, doing this before we get to what we're supposed to be uh, paying attention to and um, evolving ourselves with. So it just clears the way. And it also creates because we're very creative beings. So in that clear space, as we, you know, I said a few minutes ago, we're, we have greater conductivity, connectivity. Um, we are, we have open, you know, we're open source, <laughs> open source. And so it just uh, makes everything more efficient. And then, yeah. And then when you have your tool of IRT, which is an end result chemical signature of your wholeness on a whole new level and a greater frequency of freedom to be more of your greater self than ever before, passionately on service, abundant, all these good things that are really our birthright and we have available to us when we get out of our own way, then Wow, you can create solutions, um, collaborate with people without all your egos getting in the way. <laughs> so it, it's, um, yeah, it's a smoother and creator of the next level of reality. Right. Yeah. When, when, uh, when I mentioned earlier, Swami Satchidananda, when we go to his lectures, uh, before before he would start talking, we would all uh, do uh, Om Shante, Om Shante, 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 because he said the world has has a rhythm. And what you and it's sending out its message. And what you have to do is get into the rhythm of the world. You yes. have to be. You have to become like you say. You have to become one. You can't be separate with all your own egos and all your own feelings. It's you have to blend in. And once you blend in, then you can be free and, and let the the spirit out. Well, then I also think that if you're saying it out loud, you can almost feel a vibration from within yourself when you're it, it, there. There's like a, a resonance that you can kind of feel. Well, yeah, well you do when you, when you have 500 people going, you know, yeah. Shante, Shante, but, Shante. I mean, it comes from around you, but it's from within too. So do you still do that, uh, Malcolm? I've, Get out your love beads. And, uh, I, I, I'm sad to say, I, I think I've, I've told this uh, before, like in the 1980s when I, I had a full, well, I have a, a big beard, but it was darker, longish hair, and the, the Nehru jackets were in style. And, yeah. I, and I used to uh, have the Nehru jacket and have the love beads, and I, I became Maharishi Mahesh Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. But 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 I've I've got actually I've gotten out of that. Uh, once I left New York, it wasn't so prevalent uh, in in Los Angeles. It was in certain parts, but I didn't live in that part. Yeah. So Maureen, when when how do you present this? Do you do it typically in a um, with a group of people, individual? I know you did it individually with me, but I mean, when you're doing sessions or presentations, I, describe that. Well, um, I can work with one person or, you know, or, or thousands simultaneously. I love yeah. live presentation. So we're getting back to that. And I did a, a two or three of those uh, collaborations too with, um, with good friends of mine in, uh, in the uh, convergence and the um, conferences in LA recently. So that was really fun getting back to live presentations. And, uh, but I can work with one person or thousands uh, online or in a yeah. room. And everybody is hooking up to their own greater self and their own uh, agreements because I take people through agreements that put them in charge uh, so that it's safe and appropriate, is easy and gentle, it's um, effortless grace for instant and permanent shift for what's ready at this time and allowing, that's a really strong principle of IRT is allowing um, trust you know, in being guided along the way in that new sense of access to clarity at any given moment. So, yeah, so I can work with one people, one people, <laughs> or many well, people. <laughs> one, well, when you did yeah, yours with me. People. Yeah, the we, <laughs> that's right. When, the, when you and I did it, um, there was talking beforehand and we had a, you know, very personal conversation. And so I would think that I would have had to, I would say that I had to have a different, very, different kind of experience than if I was with a group of people yes. so okay um, that's why I wondered how that would be so how that would be is that yes you get to personalize the experience in a one-on-one -on -one. however it's unnecessary ah. 
because remember, um, oh, I, I call this work, you know, everyone was talking about being mindful. Well, mm -hmm. I have this funny little joke where I say, you know, this is, uh, we need to get mindless <laughs> out of our wow. mind. Right? Just let it go. <laughs> yeah, well, be, you know, allowing that part of you that does know that yeah. has everything in, in that greater um, context, the greater understanding of how it all connects because mm -hmm. everything's entangled every, and, and everything's connected. There is no separation. And so when you allow the part of you that knows everything to make those choices of what's no longer relevant or necessary for you to drag forward and keep interfering with you unnecessarily, then, you know, wow, amazing things happen, no matter what you're thinking. Because remember the thinking part and, and the sharing part is just the tip of the iceberg. And yeah. 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 Well, you have to get rid of that judgment voice, the voice that says, uh, no, you're not doing it right there. There's there, there are all sorts of voices that are constantly speaking to you. Yes. And, and that is what IRT um, allows to um, to totally neutralize and uh, dissolve um, at the at the causal level, which is in the field. And there's so many things that root causes. People say get to the root cause. There's many root causes sometimes. And we don't have access to what those are. They could be generational. They could be uh, past life, if you believe in that. We're also breathing recycled atmosphere. We're breathing one breath of the whole history in, in microcosm form uh, holographically. Um, scientists like David Suzuki tell us that we're breathing molecules of memory from all the greens, all the not so greats, but from the whole history of the planet. So physically we are one just by breathing all my relations, indigenous people say and know and have an understanding of that. So, so it's very complex and simple at the same time. Yes, and so the complexity gets addressed uh, in, the, in the greater self. And, and so then all we need to do is set the intention well, I don't actually uh, use the word intention in my work very much because intention is a future word when you think about it. You know, I intend yeah. to maybe have something uh, or change. I want to change, you know, and um, we go into the I am, you know, I am choosing because I am commander of my personal universe, even though I might not perceive it as such. And so it allows more to happen and then you make agreements with you know briefly what i shared you know safe and appropriate is important um and allows all those old voices like you're talking about malcolm because that's just conditioning and we took that in as the truth because you know those were our experts our parents our teachers uh even spiritual teachers and and mm -hmm. so we have a deep belief in death and yet there is no program in the body for death so we have experience watching everybody die. We're not going to get out of here alive. And yet there, <laughs> there is another higher truth that actually already has been proved by many uh, immortals and um, especially uh, documented by the government in India, for example. So, you know, we have much well, more. Einstein himself saying that time is existing in different levels, different planes of existence. So, yes. It's all together at once. Uh, Maureen, how, how did you get into all of this? What, what is your background? Uh, uh, were you born into it? Did you know as, as a child or, or did you evolve? Hey, I would not be one of those, no, you know, born knowing. Um, I had no clue. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> clueless, you know, in the universe. <laughs> clueless in Vancouver. Or are, are, you, are, you a native, are, you, are you a native Canadian? I am. Yeah. And, and so how, how I developed this, you know, of course, as many stories go, uh, I had my own, you know, childhood trauma that was totally repressed. And I had no idea that woke up, you know, when my youngest daughter was two weeks away from her fourth birthday, there's something that happened in my family. <clears throat> and, um, and, and then I was, I was married in a very dysfunctional, um, to me, abusive relationship. And so I went for help. Because I knew I needed help, especially, you know, when this awareness came up to my mind. So I, I went and searched workshop junkie. Nothing was working for me, right? Everybody's getting all the success and hurrah, they leave all healed. And, uh, you know, what's wrong with me? And so <laughs> they, uh, that was purposeful, though, Malcolm and, and, uh, and Yana, because um, I needed to have a wide understanding 
And then I apparently have the gift to extrapolate, you know, the nub and then connect the dots so that um, then reduce it, distill it and reduce it to a simple essence. So that's been my work. Sometimes they call my, I've called myself unconsciously conscious because I, I'm a question <laughs> asker. I'm curious, right? And I think curiosity is the driver of our evolution, quite honestly. So, so now, do, do you deal with people one one on one or once? Um, I usually like dealing with people five times if they're up for it, um, and it's not you know a, a, a financial requirement. I work with everyone whoever shows up and is drawn to do this work, um, and I always have enough. And um, so you know I have a very strong purpose and mission with this you know for all of humanity. Uh, because this is the great shift of the ages that have been prophesized you know, for many years. And I don't often talk about it, but here I'll come out and say that there's been a prophecy uh, over the last 25 plus years of IRT that is an important catalyst that is here to you know, change governments, organizations, institutions, individuals. Uh, it, it's here to totally shift the paradigm because it is a quickening. It is a fast track. I sometimes call it like a Trojan horse that goes to the center of your heart and then all heaven breaks loose. <laughs> and I another, like that. All heaven breaks loose. That's right. And another metaphor for IRT is that um, it's like a super duper defrag an antiviral <laughs> program for your, your human quantum computing system. Your body is an instant responder to consciousness instant. So you change your consciousness, you change your body. Yeah. So are, are, are you working like a one-on-one? -on -one? Let's say I'd be interested. I'd contact you. and Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I love, I love to work one-on-one. -on -one. And I love to be interviewed. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Because that way, you know, people have an understanding of another level of possibility. Mm -hmm. Because we're incredible. We really are incredible. And it's time. We need uh, us all to show up. And then all of a sudden, when people clear their gifts of who they are, you know, just all of a sudden emerge and they're volunteering for we, the world and <laughs> connected and, you know, and, and just in that mode of their greater selves. And uh, yeah, then opportunities show up, they fall in from the sky and they get inspired, you know, to do things. So, yeah. So and we start our show and we get to uh, introduce you to the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They well, I mean, I, I, we almost have the same uh, objectives, you know, with, with our show. I mean, my thing is communications. And we, we, you know, with talking with people like yourself and the other people that we've, we've had on and to get it out to the masses. A, I, I think collectively we, we, we have to get the numbers in, yeah. in order to make the difference. I agree. Because it's it's like the the people on the street are the ones that make the the, the differences. Like like the people in power, I mean, they have the power. It's a power corrupts, mm -hmm. and oh. and total and I forget what total power does, but it sort of yeah. leaves it leaves us like in the situations we are now. Yes, and we know that all those systems are breaking down because we need chaos before um, a next level of uh, peacefulness can happen. I know I've studied conflict resolution uh, with people like uh, uh, Rama Vernon and Max Lefser who did uh, um, international uh, conflict resolution with uh, the Russian Presidium before Glasnost and Gorbachev and uh, they negotiated a settlement between uh, Armenia and Romania, the Institute of um, Oh gosh, they're not, they're, they're older, they're elder just now, but, um, but their institute, I can't honestly remember the name of, but you know, they, what they did is they, they went and they um, uh, projected their consciousness into the room where people were going to be meeting and just set the energy of walking into a morphogenic field that was uh, about harmo harmonious connection. And they would spend, no matter how many days they had to um, negotiate, they would spend the first whole day in connecting personally. Like, how many kids do you have? Where do you like to go for your holidays? How many vegetables are you growing in your dasha? You know, and <laughs> yeah. And, and, and so that's basic humanity connecting us heart to heart. 
mm-hmm. you know, as, as, as all part of each other, part of a greater humanity. So yeah, it's bringing the human element in. Right. Well, the thing that, that I, I never could conquer, I, I never really uh, mastered it is I, sometimes you see a room full of people and someone comes in, doesn't have to say anything, but all of a sudden the attention is brought to that person. It's a certain type of energy yes. that, that, that he exudes that people feel without him saying anything. And I always wanted to be a person like that. I never could get to that state. Well, it's, it's possible. Oh, you have charisma, Malcolm. What do you if, if, if you could help me, I think we <laughs> we have something going. <laughs> well, we have a session. I feel coming. it. I feel it. I feel a session coming on. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 do you... Uh, again, I'm I'm a product of, of the Western world. So, like when I graduated college, uh, the thing was therapy, okay. psychotherapy. I think because, as as I've said many times, psychotherapy to me not that I had anything wrong, but that it was uh, the more I learned about myself, the more I could achieve. It was like continuing education. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, you were evolved. Well, I mean, this is going back to the 70s, and that, that's, yeah, again, New York 70s, in the getting, 70s, being Jewish. <laughs> it, okay, it was, it's yeah. Develop yourself. I don't know. I, I, I could speak for myself. I don't know about the rest of the world. <laughs> but but, but, but it, it was a way of life. Yes, yes. And, and when do we arrive, you know? And we're always expanding. We're always creating more of ourselves. And so, yes, let's fast track that so that we can all show up in... Um, in a, in, a, in a more productive, uh, loving way uh, to achieve our heart's mission. Um, well, like you say, it's a curiosity. And um, I mean, that's what I really love about Malcolm is that he's very curious. And, you know, it would be easy as you get older. And I'm not saying anything, Malcolm, about your age, but you are a very curious person and wanting to... St- seeing seeing this new way of communications you know i mean that's really cool i love it well they always say the more you know the more you know you need to know yes yes well some say that some say i know the more i know the more i know i'm really amazing (laughs) i don't need to learn anymore (laughs) yeah always being teachable you know always there's more And, and, and uh, what, what, what I get frustrated at, as, as Yana knows, is, is uh, the new world of uh, t- uh, technology. Yeah. Not so much people to people, but technology. I agree. Beca- because, uh, well, I have two kids, uh, kids, yeah, they're 20, 28 and 26. And anything that goes wrong, I go, Jonathan, how do you fix this? Joshua, how do you <laughs> fix that? Because basically the two things which drive me crazy, <clears throat> computers. Yeah and uh cell phones yeah because something is always changing yes always you just get used to it you master it and then it changed the whole system just because they do there's like why the big why it's known as planned planned obsolescence the more they could sell to you yes the more they change like right now we uh, oh the third part of that is is uh, television yes which is no longer television because we're being streamed oh yeah (laughs) Yeah, Everything yeah. I have now is streamed. I'm not sure what streaming is. I don't know <laughs> if I want to know. All I know is I turn on the television and now it's streaming. Yeah, yeah. We'll just get it's, in and swim. It's no longer broadcast. So what we're doing now with the Zooming, it's amazing. You're in Canada. Uh, Jan is in Ohio and I'm in California. Absolutely. It's amazing. And I've, I've done sessions with people uh, on the Inca Trail in Peru. Yeah. Wow. I know. Like, well, well the, the, the thing that, that, that I, uh, uh, I hope they develop faster is uh, in communications, is if you were speaking in another language, to have your language automatically come out. When you would speak to me, it would be, I could understand the English. It's sort of like the uh, uh, Star Trek, the universal language. They have it. They have that technology already and they're selling it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, the, I, I mean... Uh, because a lot of the times <laughs> when we do shows, when we're doing shows and in, in, uh, in, uh, we have volunteers working for us who are Chinese, who are Spanish, who are uh, uh, in Africa with all their languages. 
And the problem is to understand someone trying to communicate in their language. I mean, they're smart and they know what they're talking about, but yeah. they don't speak the language that I could understand. That's right. And it gets frustrating. They can't speak to them on their level and they can't speak to me on my level. Yeah. Well, check That's it out. That's what I'm for. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I go. translate. <laughs> There you go. And when I worked in Russia, you know, I worked with um, a translator and I was never sure quite what was getting translated. <laughs> and, yeah. Right. And yeah, well, uh, so well, 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 that, well, that's what they said. They said the, the I remember in the old days of Gorbachev, it's Gorbachev was very friendly to us. It's the translators, the translator hated us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's getting, um, you know, filtered, you know, you just don't yeah. know. Yeah, um, we're, we're down to our, our, our last minute now. What would you like to achieve? What is your goals with what you're doing? How would with, you like to change the world? And, and, and uh, how would you like us to help you? Oh, great questions. Thank you. Well, you know, um, I wrote my mission and vision statement many, many years ago, and it's still actually very true. And I don't have it here at hand. But basically, um, you know, my mission is to... Um, impact and catalyze our next level of our potential collectively you know to really transform and be part of this new paradigm in easier ways and quicken things you know it's time of the quickening um however my original vision and mission statement was to first of all take responsibility for my own path and my own journey so that I could be my best self in helping others. Um, and impact all quadrants of humanity into the next level of our ability to create solutions yeah. and sustain it's, 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 uh, and more than sustain ourselves, but really, you know, if you want to Star Trek it, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, go into places we've never been before. Never yeah, been yeah, before. That's a noble mission. Well, I can own it. What I have with Malcolm, when I started uh, Malcolm Presents, basically it's a, uh, it's a, uh, a going back, it's a streaming service. <laughs> and what I want to do is meet, meet is, uh, reach as many people as possible. Yes. So if you'd be interested, take a look at all my other shows. I have other things. See if there's any area that you could fit in to. Oh, that's awesome. And, and, and I'd like to see maybe we could develop a weekly show, a half hour show, or 15, 10, 15 minutes. Half hour might be a little too long. Yeah. 10, 15 minutes yeah. of you coming on, introducing yourself, saying what you want to speak about, go out and tell people how they can reach you. But anyway, our time is up. Yes, Thank you well, very thank much. You. This has been delightful. It was and thank marvelous. Thank you so much for listening in such an active way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us, and hopefully we'll speak to each other soon. Very soon. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye for now. The objective of the organization We the World is to facilitate cooperation on a global scale amongst groups and individuals dedicated to implementing solutions to the many challenges we face on the planet at this time.